one person in here. Pull up the comment section. All right. Avid fisherman was first. Mike Sampson. Catfish dog. Stuart the fish whisperer. Zed's place. It says, hi, Rick. Everyone, I am tired. Man, you ain't the only one tired. I'm a flat wore out. We hammered the fish today. Possum Outdoors. Brother Possum, I just dropped the link if you need it. I think I forgot to pin that up earlier. Catfish Dog says, what's up, Rick? Might not be in chat. Understood, Zed. When you're tired, you're tired, brother. Good to see you in here anyway, Zed. Possum, Dog, Sampy, Stewart. Six lovely people in here already. We spoke to them today, Tim. <clears throat> Get my glasses clean here. Oh, give me a tissue. Then we had one of the biggest rod tangle up conglomerates you ever seen. We like to never. I cut about 20 foot of my line out. That wasn't too bad, I guess. I could deal with losing 20, 20 feet, 20 or 30 feet, something like that. On the last cotton picking fish. Never fails. That one I caught, I posted on my website there on my, uh, excuse me, on my community page. My biggest was about 20 pounds today. I only caught four. Uh, we ended up with 20 total. I think Newt had seven. Rick had nine or ten, and I had four. So we had 17, and we was getting ready to quit. We had about 50 more feet to go, and Rick had three poles go bang, bang, bang. Ended up getting our 20. Sampy, what's going on, brother Sampy? Camel toe. Eat more chicken, he says. Brother Possum What's in the house. Going on? How you doing, buddy? Shoot, I'm wore out too. <laughs> oh man, I am. I, I I'm wind burnt. My face looks red. I'm I'm wind burnt. I just got home about an hour ago. Straight up, make my supper. Well, we just caught some fish today. Yeah, we did. We got into them today. I think we caught 20, and our buddy was out there. He caught like 23 or 24. He was out there about two hours longer than we were. So, we're going to hit him again tomorrow, Possum. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get out of here tonight early, about 10 o'clock, and get me some sleep. Hopefully, the bigger ones are hitting tomorrow. Shall we caught... I think our biggest one, we didn't weigh it, but probably a good 25 to 28 pounds. And then we had a couple that was 20. And the rest were all eights and tens. We caught three channel cat, probably went from anywhere from eight to 10 pounds. Them big dudes. Boy, that's some big ones. Yeah, for channel. I mean, they smoked that baby too. Just like a blue does. Found everybody in chat. Yeah. I think I got everybody. Brother Avid. I got my yard knocked off before it got dark. And What'd you do? Cut the grass? Yeah, first moment of the year. Look out. Yeah, boy, I seen several people cutting grass today. I'm going to have to do that before long, but I think we're supposed to get rain start tomorrow night. So they're talking like two inches of rain coming. Really? Goodness. Yeah. Yep. I think ours is going to hit by Monday. That'll make our grass start growing on it. Oh, yeah. Warmer temps, a little moisture. Shoot. Abbott says eat more walleye. We got to catch walleye to eat walleye, Abbott. That stuff's $9, $10 a pound in the store. 
I didn't know they sold it around here. They do it. Our a store we got here called Myers. They never freeze it. It's fresh. It's even got the green skin on the back of it. It's uh, it's not white piece or nothing. It's flat walleye. So, or that's what they say anyway. I haven't bought none. But my buddy has. He said it's really good. Abbott is catching a walleye. Where in the heck do you catch a walleye at, Abbott? Hmm. Yeah, I know I'm a little early going live here, but what the heck, I was tired, ready to go. Better get in here and get it, get it going. Right. Below Carlisle Dam. What are you catching them on? Probably jig. I don't know anywhere to catch any around here for me. I don't. I wouldn't know either. We used to have them in our lake, and there's probably still one or two in there, but they pretty much moved out. Hard I to guess get they, go, they go up the creeks, I guess. Leeches, minnows, and jigs. Yeah, I went to a little creek that feeds our lake yesterday. I was trying to get some, uh, me and a buddy was trying to get some, uh, oh, uh, cotton picking mud puppies, what do you call them? Yellow bellies, little baby yellow bellies. He wants them for his fine. Bullheads. <laughs> I caught a cotton picking, somebody had a, a Trout line out there. Going for Bullheads Friday. And we lost Possum. I heard an echo in the background and there he went. I dropped that link again, Possum. What's going on, my campy? Oh, his phone was ringing. Okay. It's not supposed to be real windy again tomorrow. And I tell you, our wind has been roaring the last few days. All right, brother Abbott. Mike Sampson, what's going on, buddy? You coming up on panel, Mike? Get her figured out. Man, I love my hoodie that Amanda made for me. Pontoon Jody. The hog catcher. 62 pound blue. That was a hog daddy the other day. We got 20 of them today, Jody. Got out there, started fishing about, I think about 10 30, 10 or 10 30, somewhere like that by the time we got our bait. It was a struggle getting our bait today. Fished to about five. Going to hit it again tomorrow while these fish are hitting. I don't know why they're hitting all of a sudden, but man, they are like on fire lately. Not so many big ones today, but a few big ones. I know of a 33 that was caught, and then we caught a 25 and a couple 20s, but I'm after that 50 plus. Maybe tomorrow. Jeremy, what's going on, Jeremy? That fishing channel. Joke too. That's because they're getting ready for spawn. You think that's what it is? Yep. 
hell, our water even cooled back off to 49, 50 degrees, and and uh, they're still hitting good. Yeah. I don't remember hitting like this last year. I want to go fishing, but I can't. I have to work uh, tomorrow. All you got to do is retire. You get a million dollars at a house, you should be able to retire on that. No, I canceled the sale. What do you mean you canceled the sale? She, after I signed papers, she kept coming back wanting to offer less and less money. So I told her to kick rocks. I'll be darned. Well, I think you got to do what you got to do. I think she was trying to beat me. They'll do that sometime. Now, was that that person wanting to buy it or the realtor doing it? The person wanting to buy it. She even had someone come to the house while I wasn't here to put a roof on it while I was at work and said I would pay for it. They didn't do it, did they? No, they got stopped. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, Fat Boy Eric. Hello, Fat Boy Eric. Good evening, everybody. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. Where's Wild Man Curtis at? I got to give a shout out to the Boar's Nest. I give my channel a shout out this morning. That was freaking awesome. 13 minutes late, and they already closed off at 7 o'clock in the morning. Where is that? The boar's nest. I got up at 7 this morning. I thought I'll start my computer and get in there and say hi. I was 13, 7 13, and they already signed off. I'm there like, man, these guys, get up, they get up early now. They, well, they're Eastern time. And I they know. Right on, they're at, I think they stayed to 808 today. But that was late for them. Yep. Well, I just missed them. Missed them by 13 minutes because it said they signed off 13 minutes ago. Yep. Oh, man, Curtis was sleeping. Yeah. Uh, possibly not this Friday, Jody, but maybe next Friday, if the weather's good, I'll be up on your, on your show. Okay. Just remind me. I will, because I, I just want to make sure I got good weather for where I want to go for big cats. Okay. If I forget to send you the link, I got to do power. I will. Where are you going for big catfish at, Abbott? At the mouth of the Kaskaskia in the Mississippi. There's a hole there where uh, Jason Lamb caught 150 pounds of cats in an hour. Oh, yeah? Hmm. I haven't been to that hole in almost three years. I haven't told anybody about it neither. I haven't shown anybody words at anything. I just watch it from a distance and everybody keeps walking right by it and casting 100 yards to the north of it and 100 yards to the east of it. So I'm like, okay. They haven't found it yet. Oh, Roger and Dave was out fishing. I'm going to get up early in the morning. Maybe I'll catch them and have a cup of coffee before I go. But watching Jason Lamb catch 150 pounds of cats in an hour out of that one hole on one last. That's pretty good. I wish mm -hmm. we had a hole like that. <laughs> he was like a kid in the candy store going giddy. He was happy all over the place. I won't get to fish where I want to Friday because I got to get up early to go to Chattanooga with James to the tournament. We're going to fish. Right? I always want to fish Kingston. I can always catch fish at Kingston. Oh yeah. What tournament? What tournament? He's fishing in the Kings Saturday. Oh, yeah. In the Kings. King no, in the Tennessee Belt. Yeah, if we wasn't fishing in the fishing in the Tennessee Belt, we would have fished in the King Cat. And now, are you talking Kevin's tournament? Yeah, if we wasn't doing that one for Saturday, we would have done the King Cat that's in Kingston, of all oh, okay. places. Yeah. 
Now, where was it that you cut those three flatheads back to back? Kingston. I thought so. Mm-hmm. Would you run a uh, underwater railroad bridge? Yep. I thought so. I broke my head cat there. Uh-huh. That's just a little spot on the side of the riverbank. Hey, I, it's a, I seen Catfish Dave fish that one time. Yeah, I know. They ain't been a fish there since. <laughs> ever, ever since he fished there and he shouted that where he was at? That's he don't take them, though. He turns them loose. No, but everybody who watches them goes and fishes it and keeps them. He was six well, months for a kind of fish there. Thank you for stopping in, Miss Jones. Have a good night's sleep. I even did that Steve Douglas challenge in 10 minutes there and caught a flathead. One bait, I, one rod, an hour. Yeah. I caught him, Steve, over there at CatCon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He was a nice guy. What I've been told, I, was, I wasn't real sure, but heck, I kind of liked him. Yeah. He was a nice he'll guy be, to me. He'll be down here fishing Saturday. Oh, is he going to fish too? Hey, North He's going to fish the king cat. Oh, okay. Out of all the catfish rides I have in my truck, there's one I have not caught a fish on. Northern View Outdoors. Welcome in, buddy. Howdy. How you doing, Northern View? That's a uh, chunky catch rod. Hey, mullet man. Mullet man number seven. What's going on, mullet brother? Man, man. Mullet man, a cool name, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, mullet man. Hey, Chad. Chad Thomason. Hey, Chad. We're going. Yeah, I want to make sure I take some uh, bullhead, some bluegill, and some shad and uh, skipjack down there. You going at night? Yep. Oh, that's right. Jody show. Right. I have a bright compact that will light up the whole bank. You know, I ordered me a Mad Cat's uh, blue light, and then I got on their website and got to look at my white ghost rods. They don't light up under blue light. I'm like, well, crap. But tell you what, I got... Uh, the catfish dog dialed in with the rod and the reel that Tim gave me. And that thing launches some bait and weight. It will let things fly from the bank. Really? I can get some good distance on that rod. The K-Dog rod. Is, Boy, that catfish dog's a pretty nice guy, ain't he? Yeah, he is. I, was, I wasn't expecting it, but thank you for the pin warper. That pin warper took all uh, 330 yards of Suffix 832 uh, line on it. Yep. Yeah, I got 300 yards on mine, too. I, I wasn't expecting that warper to take that much line. Uh -huh. 58 days till gathering three. I know, but my pin rival took that much line. I wasn't thinking the pin warper would. Oh, I'd like to go there, but I think that's about an eight or ten hour drive for me. Where? You would love it. You get the fish. Hicks in Tennessee. I thought it was closer than Rubyville, but my buddy said, no, it's way past that. Hicks in Tennessee? Hicks in H-I-X-O-N. I, I kind of want to, Eric, but I don't think I'll be able to because I got nobody to take care of my dogs. I Bring can't with you. Uh, oh, you got a bunch of dogs, don't you? Well, I only got three left, but they're coyote dogs. They're not yeah. pets. Got two pin reels. Possum got the other one. You hey, had a possum, girlfriend. Possum, you but, like that pin reel. Well, right. Huh? If anybody's interested in an Abu Garcia 6500, my buddy's got one. He said he'll take 60 bucks for it. He was Rick, wanting 85. Rick, if it's five hours from me, then it'll be seven hours from you. 
Well, that's what they said. They said about eight hours or more for me. It, if you only, how far are you from me? I'm a good hour and a half from you. Yeah, so if not, you'd be seven hours from Hickson. Because I'm only five, five hours and 55 minutes from Hickson. I'm only five hours from there. Yeah. So I'm I know if I have to, maybe someday I will. And I, you never know. Hell, I'll be able to show up anywhere. That's right. Oh, I got to do it. Baldwin when she's up there. I yeah, I'm sleeping in my truck. I'm glad taking a day off and went fishing with her. It was a big secret. I wouldn't uh, tell anybody. I, I, we could have caught more fish if we stayed home, though. Well, hey, I know that like just like Parker does, if not a little bit better. Yeah. You even though that war, warm water outlet wasn't working, mm -hmm. wasn't running, I would have still parked on top of that warm water outlet and dropped baits. But we caught 20-something fish. It's just they weren't big enough to count. <laughs> yeah, but that warm water outlet, there's that hole there where you can cast up into it. That wind yeah. been back here, Northern View. Supposed to be 10 I mean, to 15. It was 10 to 20 today. I can catch 23 fish back home. Heck, I can catch 23 fish at Horseshoe. I mm -hmm. can catch and, 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 I can catch and these are decent sized fish. They're not little bitty ones. Anywhere from 3 pounds up to 20 pounds. Well, we caught several 8 and 10 pounds today. I catch yeah. 23 bullheads out of mosquito ponds that I use with ball, uh, flathead bait. <laughs> it was fun. It was an experience. Yeah. But I'd still like to meet you in person, though. Yeah. Who, Pontoon Jody? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Me First and Jody have been doing this back for a long time. <laughs> Haven't we? <laughs> the Rick said it's a letdown. <laughs> hey, butterflies. I, I butterflies. <laughs> what did you say, Jody? I miss that. Did you say it's a letdown when you met me? <laughs> <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> Jody's never a letdown. No. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'm my best behavior. You don't know who's watching. You can't act up at CatCon, really. Why not? Because you don't. You never know if you got a sponsor, but a oh. pinned and sponsor watching. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy James Bailey, cat patient. Hey. I'm not looking for sponsors. Jimmy. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself. So I heard somebody say you lost an anchor off a boat and then you wrecked your motor or something. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. <laughs> no, I messed my prop up. My tiller's messed up, so I got too shallow on the boat ramp and I got into the concrete and messed my prop up. Then I forgot to pull anchor and loaded the boat. I had to crawl up under the boat and move the anchor through every one of them bunks. To get it oh. loose to put it in the boat. I, when I pulled out of the ramp, I heard something clanging. And I thought, oh, no, God, no. It's the anchor. <laughs> that boat ain't going to last much longer with that anchor in the water. Yeah, I loaded mine and I forgot to dump my motor and I kind of drug that teal on the bottom a little bit. Yeah. Mine will teal down, but it won't teal up. Really? Can't get that fixed. Yep. But something's wrong with the switch. It's broke. Huh. Windy. Mine's a little sticky every now and then, but I think it's just from not running it real good. No. Nah, mine, mine's got, you can tell something's hit it and broke it. Hi, Wendy Jane. Hey, Wendy. Wendy. 
Jody let me down this year. Her hair smelt like grease and fish. I was cooking for hours. I was cooking fish. I got to meet boy Eric over there too. I had no idea him and Curtis was brothers. Hey Mike. Who would have thought Eric was the better looking brother? Hey Mike. <laughs> real, real windy. Please slap Stuart. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. Mike who? Mike's fishing home. Mike's fishing My home. Hey, uh -huh. yeah. Your BFF. Yep. There's Uncle Don R. Hey, hey Don, Don R. Uncle Don. Will the real Wendy Jane please stand up? Joshua for him. And then slap hey, her. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joshua. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy birthday, Joshua. You're and 21 again. More. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah, happy birthday, Joshua. Me and Uncle Don's got the same birthdays. When is that? Really? June 24th. Hmm. Me and Mike share the same day. I'm going to try and go out and catch a fish on it. Maybe I can get my PV 50 pounder. Maybe. Oh, I'm trying. My buddy got a 50 the other day. This made me sick. Here, I've been wanting one. I'm shooting for a 70. I'm actually shooting for an 87 pound flathead. Well, we all are, actually. That's I state record for this thing. I'd love to get you an 87 or 90 pound flathead. I'm not greedy. I'll take a 50. I want to break down my Roy State record flathead. Yep. Double hook angling, buddy. I hope you're feeling better now. You got that heart taken care of. Hey, Dave. Everybody's tired today. I know I am. Boy, that wind burnt me up today. You stay safe, Dave. I'll be sending prayers. Definitely prayer that sent is, to me, Dave. That reminds me, I need to get off and get my chores done so I can go to bed early tonight. Oh, you got channel. To early. Yeah, I, I probably got, will. We turn yeah. channels up early. I put a bobber out there, boy, a piece of shad, and just tear them up. Yeah, I got to do my laundry and pack for the weekend, so. Oh, yeah. Boy, cat's flying there. I got to get caught up here. I'm yeah, you smoking. Bye, everybody. I'll be listening. All right, you be safe. Well, bye, bye. Jody. You don't got to run off. I'll be listening. I won't be chatting, uh, but I'll be listening because I got to do uh, crap. Well, we won't right. talk about it when you're listening. Okay. <laughs> bye. How come possum never come back? All right, Dave, I'll, I'll call you later and see how you're doing. Hey, you going to bed, he said, I but you might not want to wake him up. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mean. Right. Not today. Just wanted to say hi. Well, thank you, David. Tell Gregory we said hello, too. I ain't going to call him every night because, you know, that's his private time. You're going to still bug man fish again this weekend? You're going to be in that tournament too then, huh, Eric? I imagine I'll be watching because we're supposed to have a lot of heavy rain. Well, I hope Possum didn't blow his phone up. He probably got called in. Who knows? Uh, Farmers don't call them in to work late. You never know. There's always, there's always can be uh, emergencies at, at the saddles. 
they need that, uh, someone there. Yeah. Where's uh, Stuart at tonight, Wendy? Probably knocked out cold from Wendy slapping him. Unless Stuart's live somewhere. Oh, you know he's cheating. I'm going to get me another cup of coffee, Evan. I'll let you hold the port down. Okay. Oh, I understand that one, uh, Fishing Channel. Oh. See, I told you it was cheating, Wendy. Do me a favor, Wendy, pinch him. <laughs> so how's that was everybody's day today? How's everybody's day today? <laughs> you mean getting his hair shaved off, uh, butterflies? Uh, Stewart still owes us a good head shaving. Yeah, he never. I never heard him yell Spartan. He said he did it on his channel. I love yeah, these little things here. New phone. These are cherry flavors. On my old phone. <laughs> you still have your subscribers, Sampy. You, you can't lose your subscribers off your phone. Your subscribers stay on uh, YouTube. Going fishing with J Dog. I hope you catch a big one. Boy, there's been uh, them little boats, what do you call them, that you get in, Jeremy? Kayak. There's been three for them on our lake. Yeah, kayak. Every time I go out there, they're out there. Yep. Video call. Okay. We don't want to bother Stuart when he's on a video call. Oh, that's cool, uh, butterflies. He owes us a haircut, don't he? Yeah, he does. Hey, Shad Daddy. Mike Sampson's asking your question there, Howard. Yeah, I answered it. Broke back Bob. He was scared. He said he lost his subs uh, off his old phone. You don't lose yeah. your subs. Your subs stay on YouTube. Two Stixies for pick, pick you up, or pickups. I don't know what that means. He's being goofy. Not Bob. Yeah, that's Bob. The mini pole cat. Sad daddy. I'm trying to get caught up here. I'm behind. Snowing like Wendy. crazy. Can you believe that? Uh, Wendy, I, I do uh, own an old Uncle barber Don, style. you're getting snow? Man. Wendy, I, do, I do own an old star straight razor from a barbershop. I, I can shave his head for you. 
Jody wants to know if you're eating rats for dinner, Bob. Bobzilla. I got some good sharp knives to uh, shave, to shave, to shave them for you. They got a whole drawer full of knives. There's brother Gregory. Hi, Gregory. Hey, Gregory. How you doing? Oh, Gregory, Gregory. I showed this knife to someone one day, and they thought it was a switchblade. It looks like a switchblade. Screwdriver there. Yeah. Well, and a can opener there. I'll be darn. It's not a knife at all. Nope. <laughs> Sampy, you coming up on panel? Hey, but she opens up real quick like a switchblade. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got all kinds of knives in my drawer. I got one right here. That one from old Key Kill or Key Kill knives. You probably seen this one, ain't you? That bad fella right there now. That one's a what? Right there. Oh, that's a nice knife. Huh? That's a good knife. Yeah, boy, that's an everyday carry. Self-defense knife. I won that the other day on the TKL knives. Really? Yeah. Pretty nice. Man, that baby is razor sharp, too. There's a, there's a one I carry every day. Yep. I got one of these carry every day when I work. Hey. Get that screwdriver. He's a sharp boy. Straight knife. It was a good one. Cool cats. Oh, I'm back behind behind the chat again. This one's a heavy knife. And this one's a lot lighter, but it's still it's still as tough as this one. Yep. Hi, James. Maybe we need to have a little pole. You're meant for cat someday. Eight, eight inch maximum length pole. You mean eight feet? Number eight. Well, a, a pole what? I missed that one. Well, hang on. I'm trying to get caught up here. Cool cat species in the house. Uncle Don. I thought I'd seen somebody else here. I think I overran one. No, you back. Didn't. I've been watching. Okay, I didn't miss anybody? No. Okay. Hey, I fishing I fever. Hey, Austin. Austin just came in. Hey, Austin. Another awesome guy right there. I got her on your hat. I don't know when it'll be done. I think she had to order the deal for it. A 38 inch pole tournament. Oh, okay. One of those, uh, like a I think he's tournament he's, pole. Yeah, he's challenging you, Abbott. <laughs> well, I could do it Friday, but he can't. It's snowing up there. You'd probably be able to beat him, man. Oh, yeah.
I'll let you know once you get her done. She's going to ship it right to you. I give her your address. There's my Nevo Amish brother. Don't know what Nevo means. I have no clue. Surprised Tim hasn't popped up. Ah, uh, he's probably getting ready for work. Got a shave, shower, shine, and shampoo. Oh, he's got to uh, make that little beard of his uh, clean and white for work. Yeah. Anybody wants to come up on panel, they're welcome. Chad, Daddy. Cool Cat's caught a couple nice channel, or not channel, but blues last night when I was watching him. We got 20 of them today there, Cool Cat's. Biggest one was only 25, but we'll take it. Yeah, I'm going to go up to uh, Bluegills and uh, Shad and Bullheads uh, Friday. No, you missed the uh, you missed the topic. Normally, he's on panel before this time. Come on, Sampy. I thought you wanted to go live up here. Yeah, come on, Sampy. Make a debut. Yeah, I went to bed there, James. I don't know if you caught him or not. I know we sitting there watching that pole bend and bend and bend, and I finally had to tell James he finally seen it. Yeah, but when those poles bend and they don't come back up, that's when you know they're on there. And they're usually a good one, too. Oh, yeah. They're, they're well over 50, 60 pounds when they have that rod bent over like that. I put the more. length up there, Stinky. And, and it peels off there, you know they're big. And there he is, the man of the hour. Howdy, 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 everybody. Hey, dog. What's going on? So I hear you tore them up today, Ricky. Yeah, we got good. 20 today. Good, good. Hey, brother. Abbott, how's it going, brother? Good. I just love the uh, K-Dog Rod way it casts. Do you? I'm glad you like it. I'm happy. <laughs> I figured you'd yeah. use it a lot better. I figured you'd get more use out of it than I would, so now go out there and catch a big one for me. I will. I watched that when your trolling motor went dead there, Jane. Hey, Gregory. Was... How's going, brother? Yeah, James got off bites on all poles at once, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll put that... the K-Dog rod up against the Chunky rod, because... Chunky Rod hasn't caught a fish since I've got it. Hey, I went through about six trips with my new rods before I caught something. Yeah, but I've had the uh, Chunky Cat's Rod for four years, and I've used it every, every chance I got, and it still hasn't hooked into anything. Tim you, know, you know, Rick, that was pretty funny. I was watching James fishing last night, too. And we're sitting there, and James is talking in that green pole out there, just going, way, 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 way. I know. I know. He was just talking away. <laughs> oh, I was, I was laughing. It was just way, way, way. Hey, hey, Your brother was in there a minute ago. He hey, said Curtis, you were what's going on? He was taking a nap. You want to go, bro? You want to go? Huh? You want to go, bro? Wow, man. I made a I made a believer out of uh, hungry fishing uh, Sunday night. Uh, no, Friday night with a uh, guard dog. I, I got me, uh, I Duke sent me one, and I got another one. I think River Rat sent me. I had uh, I guard dog and Uncle Lou Rod, and we went up to the truck and came back. He goes. Where's the guard dog? I go, what? He goes, 
your uncle Overhead. Where's the guard dog? He goes, it should be on there. He goes, no, it's off. And the poles are bouncing. <laughs> Where was that at? On yours, Abbott? Yeah. He's I'll like, be darn. He's like, we just walked up to the truck and came back. I says, that's just it. You don't have to worry about it. That guard dog go, no, that. <laughs> Set it no. and forget it. Set it and forget it. Yep. I gave a shout out to Hog Legs too while ago there, quiet man. And I tell while you what, I seen you guys get a shout out today. That's awesome, man. I appreciate it. Getting that 10 ounce circle hook out of the skull of that catfish was not easy. <laughs> Look at this guy sneaking in here. He ain't sneaking in here. Old Stewart. He's been listening off Wendy's uh, phone. But yeah, I missed it. I got up early this morning. I thought I'm going to get on hog legs there and tell everybody hi. And I was 13 minutes late. I thought, them dirty cotton pickers already got off here. 7 13. <laughs> so I'll try it again tomorrow. Maybe I catch it. He has a hard time with that God's time equation, Curtis. Oh, I just <laughs> like sleeping. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't want to get up at 7 o'clock this morning, but I did. I don't let no one go fishing for me. I'd rather go fishing for myself. Bob, I heard you can't fish worth a lick. That's sure, why you start ready, I guess. But what I heard, Stewart can't fish with a lick. I watched Stewart's live the other day, and he caught a fish right off the bat. It was about that big. Well, let's see, about that big. I don't know catching, what kind of fish it was. It was bait, I guess. Yeah, he's catching bait. I think that was his bait, and he said it was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. A cuda, see. No, that's... I thought Stuart said something there. Oh, Curtis. <coughs> she was quiet, quiet. man. Curtis. It's going to be high as 71 tomorrow. Down here. I think we're supposed to be in like 46, but we're supposed to have a lighter wind. Man, that wind was rough today, boy. I'm telling you. Cold. I don't have a windshield on my boat and we had to travel about halfway across the lake to get our bait and I about froze to death this morning. It wasn't bad once we were sitting still fishing. I could warm up well that sun finally come out. But so what did you think of your new toss net? Uh I didn't throw it today Rick did. I was guiding the boat. But yeah we, it worked real good. Cool. We caught plenty of bait. It was three bearded rocking that he caught. A three bearded rocking. Never heard of it. It's a tiny little bait fish. You put him back on the hook and catch him up and catch the shirt. That's what I do, butterflies. I watch the replay a lot of time. 73 there today. It was 46, 47 here today. It was 75 like today. There's a fact right there. Gregory says, I catch anything that bites my hook. He does catch anything. He's a catching he catch nice. Yeah, he catch some nice crappie now. Yeah. I didn't catch a crappie in the net today. Gregory is a crappie killing machine. They're putting our boat docks back in there finally today. They're out up there working. Were they? You give, you give yeah. uh, Gregory any choice of jigs he wants, and he'll go over there and Slay this crappie. Yeah, prayers to David. 
Boy, I tell you, you just never know. One minute you're okay, the next minute you're in the hospital getting stents put in. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen from day to day. Nope. How you doing, Tim? Hey, don't forget to give me some likes and shares there, everybody. It's, it's all people. It's here. All How many thumbs up I got, Tim? What's that, Rick? How many thumbs up I got? Anybody? I can't tell. It don't show I, it here. I, 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 can't I, tell I, I can't tell I'm on chat. Oh, okay. Okay. Give me a second. 190 degrees here, wind advisory, snow, and high tomorrow, 27. Wow. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. There's two thumbs up and 19 people in chat. Let's hit the uh, thumbs up for him. Two thumbs up? Holy moly. And you got 19 people in chat. I hit mine way early. Who we got? 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 Come on, Stuart. Come on, Sampy. Oh, nice. Bam! And we get... Sampy. How y'all doing? Sampy, buddy. Good to see you, brother. Sampy. Yeah. Gregory said 15. Cocat said 25. And Curtis said 24. Yep. Refresh that, Avid. So what's going on, brother? It's still spinning. And when yeah, did you hey, I had to set my telephone to get on the uh, um, Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's the only that's way I can get on. That's how you, you do it. Are you, are you in vertical no, right now? Yeah, he's in yeah. Photoshop. Turn that phone sideways and you'll get a wide screen. Well, uh, stream well, not got there you are. Streamyard's got this new thing. You can go vertical. Streamyard's got what? A new gig where you can go vertical too. So when you so when you go live, I have to hold my phone sideways. Then it's, it's better when you uh, uh, have it sideways. Well, just show me better pictures like you are right now. Oh, okay. It shows a full. It shows a full full view picture. Good night, James. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, Cat uh, Tim. I got the uh, koozie in the mail from Possum. Did you? Yes. Thank you. Cool. cool. I don't got mine yet. That was, well. That was only one of two. I got one. He's got the other one. I haven't got mine yet. I got. I'm going to get some more made here pretty soon. I can't remember who got mine. You did, didn't you, Tim? No? Oh, who won mine? I think that's me. Abbott, did you get it? Not yet. I didn't get no koozie yet that I won. I know I won someone's koozie, but I haven't got it yet. I don't remember who won. I have to go back and watch that. Yeah, I will. I, I don't she remember. She was supposed to send it to whoever won it, but I don't remember who won it. I was thinking, wasn't, wasn't you, Sampy? I believe so. Sampy won you mine. Won. Sampy, Sampy won mine. Tim. Sampy won Tim's koozie. I don't know who won possums. It's either I won possums or someone else did. Look at here, Avid. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> you love that cup, don't you? It's great, man. I get to listen to music at work all night long. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got mine right here, brother. <laughs> Sits right here on my desk. I, I walk into the gas station and it's bumping. <laughs> get me some coffee. The coffee cup's bumping. Yeah, the, <laughs> they're like, where's the music coming from? <laughs> Well, the good thing is, is I got Sirius Satellite Radio on my phone. So I just Bluetooth it on here and be bumping all along. Uh -huh. Bob won a possum koozie. Who in the hell won mine? That I am trying to figure out. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I'm old, though. I can, I can get away with that. 
Hey, we're both old. We can get away with, with forgetting things. Trying to think who won mine. I know it was. It was um, Donald Long, I think. But that is named Donald Long. Tamp, you need to use a little tripod to sit on your table. Yeah, I'm going to have to get me one so when I go fishing, I can put it on. I thought you got one. No, not yet. You get them at Walmart huh? pretty cheap. Well, oh, now, yeah. look at I had a tripod sitting on my dash of my boat, and I bet I left that dude there on the ride home tonight. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little advice about that. Don't buy a cheap tripod. Spend a little money for. It. Hey, it, I went to the, it'll I went pay to out. The, it'll pay out in the long run. One of hey. those that's got trifold legs that come out all the way down are more stable. The wind don't blow them over as much. You know, look around and spend a little money for one because you know you're putting a phone on top of it and you don't want it falling over. I got, right. I got a tripod out of uh, a die cast aluminum tripod out of a yard sale for five bucks. Yeah, I'm going to have to strap that tripod down to the steering wheel when I anchor down at night for fishing. Actually, you can get a clamp on tripod that can clamp on the windshield. I looked for one of them the other day at Menards and couldn't find one. Where you get that at, Evan? On Amazon? Yeah, on Amazon you can. They hey, Don. Okay. I think I you won my koozie, didn't you, last week? Did you win my koozie? I imagine Somebody if you go on to Amazon stamp you and say tripod, they'll probably show you a bunch of them. They, they, have, oh. they, they have millions of tripods. They have boat clamps, they have tripods, everything. I think that uh, boat clamp will be better on my windshield. Yeah, boat clam uh, for that it would be better for you. And I want to say, I want to say happy birthday to Joshua Parham. Yeah, I sent him my greetings earlier today. Told him happy birthday. There it is, right there. I, that's right. I told you, Donald. Did you receive it yet, Donald? A thought just happened to come to me, Rick. Yeah. There's, a, there's a Golden Whisker Award winner on this panel right now. So this is an award-winning panel. Hmm. I wonder who that. it could be. I've it got a celebrity on there. He's known worldwide around here. Yeah, known world around in these parts. I wonder, I wonder oh, there he is. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Hope you like it, buddy. Yeah, I well, I think the order ahead, That's one thing being retired. I get on all them channels and try to support each and every one of them. Yeah, yeah. But me and you been, hey, me and you been going head to head lately trying to be the first one in chat. Oh, it don't matter. Shoot, know, as, long as, we're, as long as we're there to support. Hey, I just think, I think it's kind of fun, though. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was gonna get in there for some years. Awesome. But lately, I've been beating you in a few times. Yeah. Like since retired, Rick puts out his uh show. I'm right in there, like first. Evan <laughs> was first. Evan was first, and Sappy was second. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. But at least you know one of us will be in there sooner or later. That's right. I appreciate each of you. Yes. Ow. Large mouth bass with a broken back. I usually <laughs> stick a knife in them. <laughs> no, hey, a large mouth bass with a broken back, he's going to uh, a different lake after I catch him. He's going into a whole different body of water. Wasn't that fishing yeah. fever, dude? Yeah, fishing fever. It was great to meet you too at the cat con. No, that was a great time. Got to meet a lot of people yeah. that day. 
It was. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming back probably next year. I got to be able to yeah. get an award somehow. See, see, next year, Rick, we got to book a, a hotel room early so we could be at the hotel where the cookout's at. Yeah. By the time we got our cat count, I was too tired to go to a cookout. Yeah, dude, I laid down on that bed. That was it for me. I was like, I ain't getting back up. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't possums and possums koozies. The one I want. One. Uh, I'd like to go to, I think they're going to have a king cat tournament over here in Kingston, uh, Tennessee Park pretty soon. It's this weekend. It's going to be this raining, weekend. I think, and we got, I think, 60% Friday and 40 on Saturday. Yeah, that king cat tournament is this weekend down in King. Yeah, I think they're calling for two inches of rain coming next few days, Tim. Tomorrow night. Well, here in Illinois. Here in Illinois. Yeah. Oh, we need it. We kind of need it. Yeah. Uh, Rick said we're supposed to get like two inches. You Normally, know, when uh, we say thirty percent down here to get rain, if it says thirty percent down here, we won't get it. Oh, I was wore out, Austin. Tim and Ray had me wore out. I went to bed before they did. Of course, they're smokers. They had to go outside and smoke. I went to bed. Amanda. I snored so bad I couldn't even sleep. I can tell you guys stories. You know, I, I should have just had my phone on video, you know, on audio and just left it. <laughs> I hey, Amanda. I How's it going, baby girl? I, I wish you would have. I swear I don't snore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then maybe Ray was snoring twice at the same time. I don't know. Oh, he was definitely snoring. Snoring and tooting. Both of you were. <laughs> Where were you on the floor? No, we had... We had beds. I, I, I don't sleep well when I'm not at home, so I just laid down. Every time I woke up, Tim's over there on, uh, he's on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I don't sleep well when or I'm not TikTok at home. He was no, on his I, phone. I don't do TikTok. I don't do TikTok. I don't do Instagram either. Hi, Queen. What happened to Possum? He was live a while ago and he disappeared. I think no, Tim. Go ahead. I don't know Reef what happened. Robert. What's going on, Reef Robert, brother? Shad Daddy asked me if I was going that King Cat, and I'll probably go to Ringo, Georgia to drag racing. Man, you'd rather go drag racing than fishing? Well, right, well not really, but I'm into both. Yeah, I, I hear I don't care if it's raining or raining out or not. I'm gonna go fishing. Oh yeah, I'll go, but I don't have a roof on a bass boat. That's all I got. Oh, you got a raincoat? Hey, yeah, I got that. I can put that on. And go sit. Yep. Hey, I'm just sitting here thinking drag race. Mm. Gregory caught a hundred <laughs> crappies begin, beginning of Holy life. cow, Gregory! That's a lot of crappies. I bet that yeah, wiped out the pond. I know they didn't keep them all, but I tell you what, that's a mess. That's too many to clean at one time, that's for sure. About 10 out of 15, plenty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. 15, 10, 15, maybe 20, that's it. Right, that'd be a good fish fry. Yeah. And ones that, ones that he catches out of that pond, they're not small neither. Yeah, we had them 13 the other day, and we, we threw a little thing of white bass in with them. We had a good feed. Yeah, that man, man I was fishing with, uh, they were good fishing. Juice, boy. We didn't go live. We got two Kept channel them in cats. cocktail sauce. Mm. We caught two channel cats, a flathead, and a walleye. <laughs> Off that guard dog. Well, Rick, I'm going to hop off here for, and uh, I'll holler at y'all next week, and I'll keep watching. 
All right, brother. Thank you for coming in. Yep. All right. Thank you all. Have a nice evening, right. now, bro. You too, and Avid and Rick, y'all take care. You all too. right, Mike. All right. Have a good Bye-bye. Drop well, your sparring right now. Austin, you have to teach your daughter how not to uh, backlash a spinning room like backlash and turn the uh, backlash at spinning room. Joshua's birthday today. Yeah. So what's, water, what's the water temperature down there, Rick? Uh, 49.9 when we got off the lake at 5 o'clock. Mm. It was 49.4 when we got on the lake. It almost hit 50. Our water's down here is pushing on close to 55 to 58. Really? Yep. It probably ain't going to warm up much with the cold spell we've got. Hell, by the time we get a 70 degree day, we have two cold days. Yeah, all that cold rain. Now, Queen, you know you're welcome up here anytime you want. Oh, uh, we're talking about all fish. You got to get two coolers, Jody, and split them. That's why you take a five-gallon bucket and you leave your coolers in the truck with ice in there. I don't know anybody catch me if you skip me after one day. Uh, well, Rustic catfish Dave could. Rustic, Rustic can Rustic catch does. the hell out of them. Does he really? Oh, my God. Oh, Lordy. With two hands, he's dynamite. With one, he's kind of slow, but with two hands, that man can catch some skips. Come on up. You need to let me drop the link. You know you're welcome here today at any time, brother. How old are you, Joshua? I think I think you're allowed what five hundred skips a day. I think that's what it is. Yeah, you you. Oh, no, it's you're like one hundred total. I think. Uh, uh, Ryan B. Catfishing. Um, on the Mississippi, a lot, I think, 100, uh, 200 uh, skip jacks. Hey, we got 20 of them today, Brian B. What but you I got? Was one. I only caught four. What you got? Brian B. What you talking about? What's up, Brian? Go change them bed sheets, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. Come on, Zed. 39 years old. Man, you're a young pup yet. God, what I'd give to be 39 again. Them women wouldn't stand a chance against me now. Jody, that's the same here in Illinois. You can catch over 200 if you have a bait license. Well, I hope you catch 50, Jody, if I come down there to Kentucky Lake. It would be nice if you wanted to donate to my Alabama fishing trip. I tell you what, Rick, it'd probably be a good time to go down there and catch some. Joshua, I'd you're like a good kid. <coughs> Joshua, you're young. Apparently, they're down there in just a killing mood right now. So, Hey, I can go over to uh, Alton Dam and catch them as long as the water's up. I'm not going to try to Climb down 60 feet rock ledges to get to the riverbank, Mississippi Riverbank. Yep. To One more the year, Joshua, and it's downhill from there. <whistles> Brian B's the only one in there that all oh, to the bed. My, oh, my. I find that hard to believe. Hunter Skip Jack in Tennessee. That's what I thought the limit was a hundred at a time. I think. After looking at the regulations for uh, Illinois on the Mississippi. Man, I mean, am I behind here? I'm way behind. All you young pups.
Dig it up. Dig it up. Man, I'm still way behind. Man, you guys are scrolling this baby. Hey, Big Matt. Awesome, Joshua, Jody, Pontoon Jody. Jody did it again. Oh, excuse me. Jody did it again. My brother Possum. Sorry, I have phone call. Well, that's all right. I was hoping it was nothing serious, brother. Well, Rustic and Dominic had a had a flat tire, and they're back going. Oh. So. Got her Joshua. going. Joshua, you can come up here. Happy birthday, yeah, anybody, Joshua. Anybody's welcome in my, my life. So maybe Possum would know the answer to this. What's the skipjack limit down there at uh, Kentucky Dam? 500 per day. Per, per day. Person. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. How many, they, how many did they catch today? That. That's, that's Kentucky. That's Kentucky, not Tennessee. No, that's what I'm talking about. Down at Kentucky Dam. That's where you need to go right now, down there at Kentucky Dam. Hey, I've been there. And how do everybody in chat? Come on up, Joshua. I dropped the link. I'm trying to keep up. I'm not as bad as Dustin sometimes. He's 15 minutes behind. <laughs> Dustin don't really have to catch in the show anyway. Possum was out getting baked possum. Yeah, he uh -huh. uses baby possum for fishing. I use myself. That's my little me, huh? Come on, yeah. Bob. <laughs> Rusty caught 340 last week, if I remember right. Holy moly. Man, I wish somebody would donate me about 150 of them for my Alabama fishing trip. Boy, that'd be nice. Possibly Joshua, too. I'll drop the link for you, brother. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to swing by here on the way down, I'd probably fix you up with something I got. In, I don't use Skipjack here, but I got a in the grid. I think you're like way the hell out of our way, aren't you, Possum? Depending on if you come down 55. Where do you live at, Possum? Oh, we go on 64. We head east on 64. Down there by St. Louis. Well, I'm south of St. Louis, yeah. Where, where do you turn off to from there? But, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm... Uh, I appreciate it, brother. Two miles east of uh, Matthews, Missouri, and two mi or a mile... And a half out of Canalu to the west. I'll have to look you up one of these days. I'm six miles from Interstate 55. Mile marker 58 or 57, something like that. East or west? South. I'm south of y'all. <laughs> no, I'm 55, east or west. Oh, I'm <laughs> west. Excuse <laughs> me. What's up, people? There he hey, is. Look at that. Look at that. Birthday, boy. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. Thank you. How are Happy you? birthday, young man. Happy birthday, brother. Hey, yes, sir. I'm going to try to turn my phone sideways like yours has it. Yeah, if you turn it sideways, it'll go wider. You turn it sideways and you went black. There we go. There it is. What you been up to? You just oh, hang it out. I've had a good birthday so far. That's, cool. That's awesome to hear, Joshua. Hey, Pop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was good meeting you at CatCon, Possum. It was an absolutely heck of a time, man. I was you at CatCon, Joshua? I was. Yes, yes he I was. Didn't. Sure was. He sure was. I seen him. I'll be darn. It was a good time. Did it you was, have fun down there? I went there on Friday. I didn't did you buy there. anything? I did. I bought a Whisker Seeker, a 110-pound scale, and I bought a, some weights. 
And I bought um, some hooks, too. Cool. You fixed up now, then. Yep. You know, hey, Tim, you remember the uh, topic we had the other day about scale hooks? Yeah. As soon as I got off the phone, I went going to the time clock to clock out, my box handed me a, a whole box of 10 uh, offset triple threat kale hooks. <laughs> so I'm like, are you eavesdropping on phone calls or what? <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he goes, I just found these in the car and I, I I knew there was a catfish hook, so I figured you could use them. Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. I got some river cat tackle hook. I got I got the cow hooks and they have uh, triple set offset circle hooks anywhere from 7 out to 12 out. I got a whole thing full of cow hooks. I bought several different sizes. I like More than I'm probably for you. I like kale hooks and I like the octopus circle hook. Yep. You yeah, know, bro. You know the time I use a kale hook? It's for flatheads. Yep. Oh, you there. Remember for three months, Uncle Don. Yep. The only time I use kale hook is when I'm flathead fishing because otherwise I, kale hooks do a lot of damage to other fish. So. And another awesome member right there, Pontoon Jody. Pontoon Jody. Howdy, Jody. Uncle Don, I hit the button here so I can see everything. Lou, Lynn, Brian. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to go get me some coffee. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right. Everybody. Wow. <laughs> Cat fever and outdoors. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Hey, man. Well, I'll be glad when it warms up. I'm ready to hit hey, it. Three month member, awesome. What was y'all's favorite part of CatCon? Uncle Lou's in the house. You guys went to CatCon, I went fishing. And all the river banks and lakes to myself. Meeting the people that uh, you, you actually don't know, you know, in chat, like you, sir, or Jocelyn. It's great to meet people that, you know, it's great to put a face to a, a name and Yes, sir. And, and yep. the boys, too. <laughs> yep. I've been watching a lot of people like Punch and Jody and other Danny Stone and all them. And being oh, able, yeah. able to finally meet them at Cat was a really cool highlight of my trip. Well, I'm so happy you had a great time there. Cause it, it, you know, it's a little unnerving for me because I don't like a lot of people. I, um, I kind of got, a, I guess, social anxiety if you. If, he yeah. might ever call it that or whatever, but yeah, See, it, my, you know, it was still awesome. great. Me and me and crowds, I'd be like Bigfoot in the woods. I, I hide. <laughs> oh, I I'll just stand out like a sore thumb. Hey. <laughs> it's terrible. I'll, hey, I'll find the I think Brian, he, I didn't get to meet Brian B over there. I missed him. Every time I went to meet him, he was busy. I believe. Brian. Yeah, Brian's pretty cool, dude. I met him. Oh, yeah, I wanted well, to give you a bite tank, Brian, or pick your nose for you. Old booger picker himself. <laughs> he loaned Possum three dollars, he never paid me back. Well, he's Man. lying too now. <laughs> he's worth four dollars now. <laughs> hey, Uncle I've had to charge him interest. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> hey, Lynn, what's going on, brother? Jody probably freaking sleepy. Jody's delirious calling Brian. Hey, Uncle Lou. How's it going, Uncle Lou? Fishman from the Potomac. Pontin Jody, it was a pleasure meeting you at CatCon. I heard he can't fish worth a lick. <laughs> All right, guys, I just wanted to come up and say hi and see how Well, it's great seeing you, Joshua, man. And yeah, happy birthday, a, Joshua. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. For you. Happy hey, birthday. You're welcome anytime on my panel. Hey. Right. Happy birthday. We'll see you later, guys. Bye -bye. Have a good one, sir. Peace out. Happy birthday, Joshua. Another spill on the River Lee. Hey, Johnny Small Peppers. Hey, Johnny. 
Johnny Small Pepper. Hey, Johnny. Do you like catfish? <laughs> I do the catfish, I okay, do the I got catfish me. marinade uh, on some uh, channel cuts. This is Johnny Small Peppers. Goodness bless me. Man, I'm getting behind the I got to get to rolling. Yeah, do you eat catfish? Do you like it? How you doing, Johnny? I just put $5 a gallon gas in my boat. I'm running that high octane stuff, possum. Uh, good. It'll be uh, so much better on your carburetor, trust me. 21 gallons is $100.03. 21.7. This patient stuff's expensive. Well, yeah. Anything is these days on that. Yes, sir. Make sure you grab your hubs, too, on your boat trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually do that every year. I ought to get get it out and do that. Hey, every Chad, year? Oh, my God. Yeah. How often are you supposed to do them? Well, shoot, you got to think about it being in the water every time you put it in there. I mean, I, I do, do it at least three to six months in the spring. At spring least every summer. month, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, I would because water can wash that stuff out of there. Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, well you, you probably won't until you, your whole tar fall off, but yeah, it, it's you need to jack it up and take the weight off of it and wiggle your tire. If you see if there's any play in it, you need to look at it. You need to screw the nut down or you know, repack it. I don't know if you've got buddy bearings or such on it. Yeah, I got buddy bearings on mine. I can just take the cover off and squirt it with grease. That's what I do. I just fill it with grease every year. Yeah, you should probably look at them once a month, Rick. Yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> especially, <laughs> especially if you're putting the boat in the water a lot. Yes, sir. Gregory, I, will be I guess I better do that now. You guys got me scared to death. Well, you never know, man. It's uh, There's a lot of weight back there. And it's <laughs> well, in water all I'm the glad time. you told me that. See, I'm kind, of a new, I'm kind of new at this boat stuff. And you know what? The really, the really bad thing about it is, it only takes a minute to check them. Yeah, I check them by pumping grease in there. If there's water in there, they'll come out, won't it? Tim. Yeah. Well, if it does that, yeah, I'm really Chad never really jack it up and shake tar. <laughs> What's that, Abbott? Builds the water, and never checks his. Oh my! Down in northern me. Well, he ought to. It ain't like a disc. You can't just grease it once while it comes and use it. And he's got that brand new boat, too. I thought that's all you to do it once a year was all you had to do. No. no. You gotta, especially if you put your boat in the water a lot, you should do it at least once a month. Uh, uh, yeah, just plug it up, pump, pump some grease, from, you know, it comes out. You if you get enough, if you get water in there, you're going to shoot a little water out. But yeah. Hey, what's your dreams? Whisker Green. Ricky, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Ricky Bobby. How you doing, brother? I'm just helping uh, Rick keep keep on top of chat. I'm trying to stay up with it. I, Look at there. She's calling me pretty Ricky. Is Ron <laughs> in here, too? Uncle Don, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Fishing for whiskers, I think, is Miss Rhonda. I get them mixed up all the time. Are you to? Sure do you. I'm about to, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to keep up there, everybody, though. Uncle Lou getting some recovery done. I know, Jody. I'm just messing with you. You got everybody calling me Ricky Poo now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky Poo. No comment to that one. What cost money, Zed? <laughs> There's Roger. What cost money? Cash app? That don't cost nothing. Hey, Roger. What's up? What's up, Roger? I was hey, Roger. I, I met Roger over there at CatCon, too, I believe. Yep. I had him mixed up with somebody else.
Yep, we all met him at the same time. That's right. He was with me, Greg, I think. Yep, Greg, yep. I, I will yep. say this. Your mom cooked some great cookies. Boy, that was some good cookies, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to miss those cookies now, so you won't be baking them much anymore. Yeah, David can't eat them. She might as well send them to me. I can eat them. I can eat them I just to You can send me two whole batches. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. Good deal. Good deal. Three to four hundred, he said. Man, you guys are tearing them up now. Are they biggins? I told you, Rick, you need to get down there, man. They are on fire it's down there right it now. It ain't popping, popping yet, but yeah, it's about to be. As soon as there's a week of warm weather, I bet it'll be lined up down there. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down to uh, Alton Dam, see how they're doing for uh, Skip Jacks. I missed that, Zane, if you had a live today. That'd be kind of neat to see how you do that, really. He, he pours it. He pours it. Uh, Good size. Aluminum. Awesome. Yeah, he pours aluminum down in the ant holes, and he lets them set overnight and cool off. You know what I don't understand? For Alabama, we can use drum perch, but we can't use white bass. That don't make no sense. Well, we can't use game fish. We yeah, I don't know. Bass, goggle eye, whore mouse. Goggle eye. I don't even know what the goggle eye right. is. It's a uh, rock bass, excuse me. Same thing as oh. rock bass. <laughs> it's a country term. <laughs> They're right. Heck that's yeah. Family, and I still use them for bait. Well, see, we use bluegill. They're not considered game fish, but. Oh, no, it's considered game, game fish, but I still use, we still can use it, but we have to catch them on the hook. I don't know if I'd want to eat them, Uncle Don. That'd be like a sardine, probably. Be like eating sardines. <laughs> I got to get my guard dog set up. I ain't even done that yet. I got a guard, uh, guard dog pro two set up for a 12 foot rod. I got a guard dog pro. Two set up for a seven foot rod. And I tell you what, that night I was fishing with a uh, hungry fishing and didn't go live. I should have been. Be safe, five. Roger. You just catch it today, Roger? You'd probably in a boat, though, wasn't you? Yeah, Roger fishes boat only. Uh -huh. I mean, for skip that. Yeah, he, he fishes from the boat. No, he wasn't today. Oh, they was on the bank with uh, Dominic and uh, Rusty. Rusty. Roger. Was. Oh, they were down there today, too? Yeah, because he was driving yeah. up there on Hog Lake Show today. Uh, Roger was driving there to meet him. Okay, that's what they were talking about then. Curtis said they was going to go later. Yeah. If they would have stayed fishing. Yeah. Okay. Well, they only caught like 27, somebody said. Nitrogen spills. Oh, well, they caught a bunch today. They caught more than 27. Well, that's what somebody said. He just said they caught three to 400 today. I know, that's what I said. He must have been in a boat. I think they catch more in a boat. Yeah, no, Gregory. No, you can, Rick, you can stand right there on the shore and catch five or six of them at a time. Gregory, I kind of figured that he uses you to catch bait so he can go catfishing. Hi, right, Lisa. Lisa. I was trying to think of her name. Hey, Lisa. Squirrel. Hey, squirrel. 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 Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm her favorite GPS. She said that I'm not so much. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Brito, can I pour some sauce on that burrito of yours? 
Rustic wore them out, Dom, so much. Well, they're catching them on. I won't, I won't say you told well, anybody. Well, you know, it takes Dominic two hours to get ready to go fishing. <laughs> hey, he was oh, yeah, I'm going to outfish him. I'm, I'm going to go down there the 20th, I think, and probably outfish Dominic. <laughs> Oh, that's what we call me Skip Jack Rick before it's over. What, well, Brito? I just want to uh, give that Brito a bath in the hot sauce. <laughs> Jody. <laughs> oh, squirrel, buddy. You got to look out for Burger King. I ain't lying. Be pretty good at it. Who's that, Possum? Rusty. You can be sitting right or standing right beside somebody throwing out there and not wear them out like some people can. Yep, That's... I hear you. <laughs> well, you there so there was no more catching the crap out of them. It's all about where your jigs lay and where they're sitting or swimming. Right. Awesome, no more boot. Good deal, Lisa. Roger said, send him a link. He can pop up if you want him to. Oh, that's a good deal. I'll drop it right now, brother. Hey, burrito. I got a whole gallon of uh, salsa I can put that burrito in. Been without a boot for a week. There you are, Roger. Slow and steady. Just remember that. Don't overdo her. It turned out better in the long run. Stewart's on doing somebody's live tonight somewhere. Any yeah, pin possible, I think. He's on any pin possible show. I'm sure he is because he's not in here. Neither is Wendy. Well, Wendy was in here. She was. He's deserted me. Uh huh. Zed, that, that uh, character you're looking for, he disappeared to another life. Well, no, you just going to there and stink the cats out of me, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in there for like 45 minutes. I didn't say nothing. I was watching you do your dealy. Hey, possum. <laughs> Not at work. Go ahead. Did you see uh, Josh's latest video? I am reckon. Uh, he was down there where the chemical spill was. Oh, you mean, oh, why you say my drum bud? Yeah, that people drum. Drum. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Or part I, of it. I, you know what? I think he was in some where, where he showed the videos of the dead fish. I think that was part of the stretch that Lynn was in. A few days earlier. Hey, Burrito, can we see you do the uh, Kentucky Tito step dance? Let's see the foot, Burrito. You can come up on panel two, Burrito. You this know you're well. I mean, yeah. I want to see Burrito doing Tito step dance with a uh, boot up. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab me a cup of coffee. All right. Well, that's what's bad about, you know, just because a farm don't mean I agree with everything we do. <laughs> no. We do put nitrogen yeah. in the fields and it can wash into ditches, which can kill some fish. But that was a really big spill that killed a lot of fish. Yeah, here's the thing about putting nitrogen in the dirt, though. It, it runs slowly. It doesn't, not like all that that went in the river at once. Right, that just was straight liquid. Nitrogen, into nitrogen put in the ground and then, leak, you know, run off into the dirt, into the water. The worst it will do is create moss. Yeah, but it, well, it don't do the fish any good either. Well, it's not as bad as a straight drop, though, like they did. They had that valve open for days. And that's terrible. That That's on, that's... That should be on somebody because they didn't do their job. Didn't check it. I can't believe that valve wasn't checked for days. Days. It wasn't open just a little bit. It was open for days. 
Terry and Bruno. as many trucks as it would have took to pump into it, you know, to fill it up. If it kept running out, why are you putting that many trucks in there? <laughs> and it won't won't hold it. I don't understand that. But but yeah, it was should have been checked. It was some. I, I bet somebody I saw. <laughs> well, they bought eight hundred eight hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, fertilizer on that spill. They lost a lot of money. A lot. Dad, he, he has big shoulders. He can handle it. And that's a co-op, too. I don't know if they're going to be able to handle that loss. Uh, a co-op ain't going to list it, uh, be able to handle that kind of loss. Well, you'd be surprised. They're a multi-million dollar company, too. It, it, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big uh, setup. But that's still ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it'll recover. I'm coming, guys. Uh, thing, you know, you get lost and you get stuff that's, that, that comes back to, you know what I mean? Just because there ain't a loss don't mean it's all loss. There's always something to replace it. Yep, yep. Howdy, Curtis. See you. Try that again. There we go. Hey, Roger. There, there you are. What's up, everybody? Hey, Roger. What's going on? I hey. am wore. I am wore out. I I'm bet. driving home anyway. <laughs> I bet. Hey, Curtis Cunningham. How many makes a long day get? bass fishing while getting on it? <laughs> I come back and see Lisa here. There it is. There's the L. Now it's gone. Why is that doing that? I don't know. Somebody got an echo. Driving. Uh, Randy's driving and the car is moving. So, Roger, how many did you guys catch today? I, I think we're somewhere. I mean, I don't even. I think I've got three to four hundred. I know Dominic and uh, Rustic. They they took. I know they took over hundreds. See, Rustic gave me like two seven-gallon buckets full of skipjack today. Man, that shot bigger. <laughs> Was that the first time you've seen a seven-gallon bucket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I good think one, Paul. question. You usually don't see them that big, but I'll just that. I think it's a six. <laughs> I think it's a six-gallon bucket, which I I got a lot of six-gallon buckets, but I think it was a six. Oh, I was just messing. <laughs> I six-gallon right. buckets from. Uh, What's that? I was telling Lisa to try it again. She kicked back out. Miss Brito is having issues. I'm after that 50 pounder, Gregory. Hopefully tomorrow. In due time, Rick, it will happen. I think the big ones are going to hit again tomorrow. There's some cut, uh, they told me that it was all about 12 to 16 inches. So that's kind of what I was prepared to pack up in the cooler. Coolers down. If I knew there was going to be two pounders, I would have brought more coolers. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, Curtis. Burrito. Is Jody still in chat? Are you calling mid size then? Yeah, she's still in chat. I don't know. I got a I funny story I, for I went over there one time and, and skipped Jack Fish and had a ball, but I don't use them oh, for, for bait, but I like catching them. I've been down there a few oh, times and I've had a couple bad trips and I had a couple good trips. That's my first time down there and I'd say it was, I had a ball. <laughs> I had a good time. You had a good man if you caught that many. They, believe it or not, they, getting the rod ripped out of your hand when two or three of them hit at the same time. I ain't never had that problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really happy with that that new skipjack rod that they they sold at Catcon. Man, that thing is the bee's knees. I will, I will make sure I own one of those from now on. Really makes that big a difference, huh, Roger? Oh yeah, man. It didn't you matter. Fifth, I, you know. 
<laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I can, I can, I can yank, you know, two or three, you know, two pound plus fish, four of them out at the time and jerk them right out of the water onto the bank. That rod can handle it. And you want some, some pound testage too. You can use braid or big mono, but you want to horse your fish in or they'll get off. See, everybody tells me you can't use braid for skipjack, but I, hell, I do. Well, well I think Mikey get hung up. That's what I use. I use. Yeah, I, I use braid, braid mainline, and mono later. I got a funny story. If you guys know who uh, Mark Cooper is from Top Knox Fishing, he fishes out of Knoxville. He's got a big YouTube channel. He's 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 got the world record skipjack. He's got he he's a he's a guide. He's a bait dealer. He showed up down at the dam. Like? Four point three pounds. Wow, I've, I've seen a three pounder, but goodness gracious! Yeah, boy, I caught about a three pounder one time. Yeah, he got a four pounder. He showed up today, and he could not catch a skipjack to save his rear end. Really? He had a, <laughs> yeah, he he come down there. I I don't know what he was doing. He his his leader was tied with braid. And it was a hot mess, and. <laughs> I I tried to me and Dominic tried to help him out get you know get set up right. And he could not catch a fish. He was so pissed off. He came down Smell there stood next. To, <laughs> he came down there stood next to me. He's like I was like what are you doing? He's like I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong because you're killing it. And I was like oh. I said here's what I'm doing. I throw it out there and showed him what I did. <laughs> he just throw it out there jigging a couple times. Yeah, I just throw it out and jig it. He said. He you said, use well, a bobber or anything, No, no bobbers. No, like crappie fishing, but got more jigs tied on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had about five crappie jigs. I was using marabou hair jigs, uh, white jigs. What, what weight white, was he using? 16th ounce jig heads, and I'd run a, a, a split. Well, I'd run a 16th on the top four, and on number five, I'd run a uh, an eighth ounce and I'd add a split shot just to make sure it cast out straight. Well, see, usually when that current's going, you got to put about a one or two pound weight on there, don't you? Yeah. One or two pound oh, weight? No way. Yeah. <laughs> messing with you now. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> ounce, I mean ounce. You need one uh, of no, two ounce you get Last time on the I was there. Every time you throw out, no. Oh, that current uh, was so ripping last time I was down there. It was ripping, but the skipjack were kind of deep today. They weren't up on top of the surface, so you had to throw up river and let it kind of float, you know, sink down. So oh, yeah. yeah. Jigs, yeah. And that water yeah. way up like it was earlier, it was like halfway up them stairs. Well, I, I don't know how much farther the stairs go down, but they, they, there was more stairs. I, I've never been there, so I can't really tell you, honestly. If was, the platform is, out, was that round platform out there? Nope, couldn't see that. It no, was that's probably 15 foot, 10 foot over that. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't, I know we couldn't see any of that. It was running 98,000 all day today. Wow. Hey, gum, that's pushing a lot of water there now. That was yeah, and they cranked, they cranked it up even more around five o'clock because everything changed at five. Well, see, that's when you got to find your eddies. When the when the eddies oh, yeah. move, yeah. yeah, sir, that's the fish do too. Yeah. What the that, hell? Anyway, with Mark, he stood there and he said, man, I, I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. It must be my rod. So I said, here, give me your rod. I took his rod and the first cast got skipjack. <laughs> really? He said, he said, son of a bitch. I said, what's wrong? He said, well, Hey, my rod, it's me. <laughs> okay. You got to know how to twitch her. Hey, sometimes it's like you know how deep like having me fishing here a couple weeks ago. I couldn't catch a fish for nothing. Them guys kept caught 10 of them. Well, it, it is a lot to it, just like he said. You know, if you get right on the seam or the eddy, they were holding right on these seams. <laughs> Jody. <laughs> And where we were standing, we could stand that seam longer. You know, the other guys would throw across it, and our bait would go through it pretty quick. But some of us could keep our bait in the seam longer and catch more fish. Yeah. Right. Just depending on where you were standing, really. 
Man, there's some heck of some swirls there, bull. You know what I mean? It's ungodly sometimes. Today, today the hot spot was standing on the stairs. You stand on the steps, yeah. and the the seam was coming off. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. I gotta go, fellas. It's time for to pay the fishing. Hey, good, good, well, good work. Hit it, it's all yours. Everybody have a good evening out there now. Be safe on the way home. Everybody out in chat, here's your gardening tip for the evening. Hide your hoes, because you know there's hoe thieves out there. So hide your hoes. <laughs> All right, Brother Tim. I've seen his whole shed. I got to see his whole shed, so he ain't lying. That's, that's just a little South Park well, dump there, it, Roger. And, and then we's going to be coming up. They be taking you, you want to stand up on the side of the garage, too. Who's now you research? put them inside or something. Who's that brick to them? Turn that phone sideways and it might make the screen wider. Then we'll see Randy. I'm out of y'all. I'll see you later. Bye. Right, you. Kim, I got to go. Bye, bye Randy. Got to go. Off to work. Hey, Randy. <laughs> Howdy, y'all, and howdy, John, from T-17. I just want to baptize that burrito and a hot sauce. I like it when that baby's getting good. What was that, Lisa? No. 217's in the house. She said no. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> what are you knowing about your toe? Him Let's and see that hot sauce. Toe. <laughs> hey, burritos and hot sauce go good together. I bet you eat pig's feet, then. You guys are making me hungry. Oh, I, ain't <laughs> no pig feet. I wouldn't either. I've seen people that know. Yeah. Well, they were, they I don't mind the mountain oysters, but I ain't eating no feet. Oh, no. <laughs> like I guess that I've been known to suck on a toe or two. Money for fishing. Oh. Well, have a good night, Abbott. Be safe out there. All right, Bye. Abbott. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. All right. Appreciate you. Glad you had your boot off, Lisa. Me too. Yeah, well, I bet. Now you can't kick big foot up because you don't have the boot on no more. You didn't get to take that off like every day. You had to leave it on constantly. Uh, I, took it, I took it off when I came home. But she couldn't walk on it. But yeah, I couldn't walk on it. Yeah, I just had to get off down and let that air get to it. <laughs> It'll be a bad one too. Nobody take my idea now. Who's used pig feet for trying to catch a catfish? I just thought. Oh no! no. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't eat it, but something ought to. I wouldn't eat no skipjack either. Not even fried. It surely it does better than Jello putting something on something now. <laughs> well, I'm calling a lot of them. You know. I love my bluegill. Oh. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> I think bluegill caught her biggest fish today. Possibly about a 25 pounder today on a bluegill. Cool. Well, I love bluegill. That's that's nice. Been hit drum perch lately. Hmm. Long as legal. That's all that matters. I wish we could use our crappie heads. You know what I mean? When when you take them home and eat them, otherwise yeah, they're fertilizer. But we can't use crappie unless we use them whole, and they got to be ten inches or more. No, nah, we don't even get that quality. We the crappie. If we get them in the cast net, we just throw them back in. Hell, we caught yeah, on we, a hot panel cat in our cast net. It was probably a foot long or better. Golly. Hmm. Caught some about three inches long, too. Boy, well, they were bigger to get out of there, ain't they? Oh, they're hard to get out without tearing your knees. I mean, they will stick you <laughs> like, like you wouldn't believe. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't like getting 30 or 40 of them in them, boy. Oh, it just make you want to cuss. You got to take 20 minutes to get them out. Sometimes you got to the clip their little pins. Well, no, that's when you cut your net, but yeah. 
Had to do no, I'm not going to get it. Oh. And then say there's what happened. You shouldn't have got my neck. Let it back. Unless a flathead finds it, I guess. But. Gregory said he subscribed to you, burrito. Oh, thanks, Gregory. Have you been fishing, Lisa? You and Randy? We just got home. From fishing? Yeah. Yep. Doing it good? He got no. one to the surface, but that it, it. I got one little flathead all the way to the top, and he got all. I'll oh, be darned. Well, at least the flathead is starting to bite up that way. Yeah. Well, wish we could catch a flathead in our lake. Wind blowing got, 15 mile an hour today, though. We got three flatheads in the Ohio River on Saturday. I caught two flatheads dragging on the same rig at the same time. Really? Oh, yeah. well, dang, that dude was hungry. <laughs> dragging, man, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't even realize I had a fish because, you know, you can't feel what they're doing because they're fighting each other. I'm like, what the hell is on this line? And uh, I didn't realize I even had a fish till I got almost to the boat. And I realized, man, I got two fish. On the same hook? I had two hooks on that on that rig I was dragging. He ate the bottom hook and the top hook. Wow. No, no, no. Two, two different flatheads on the same line. The same line. Oh, okay. Well, hell, you can't yeah. beat that, man. That's like catching no, a big I, bass on a on both treble hooks. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I was running a Santee rig, but then I also I run a dropper, like a Kentucky rig, and I add a second hook higher up. So I was pulling two baits and caught two flatheads. You know, neither one of them were very big, but it was still pretty cool. Yeah, hey, that means they're starting Thank though. Larry. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Hi, y'all. Sampy. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to have to hop off here. I have not eaten since five o'clock yesterday. You yeah. better go I'm fill your belly. I got hey, my food. Now, now it's time to get my belly full. You I'm bet, bro. In the Waffle House. <laughs> oh, look out! That sounds good. Now put some bacon with it. Yeah. I'm treating myself to a, a house breakfast here on the way home. I won't be home like about two a.m. Yeah, I'll leave. Oh, I have to drive be around midnight. Drive yeah, safe out there. All right. If you guys, you guys are still on here when I get done eating, I might pop back in. Yeah, right. we'll be in here about 10 o'clock. I'll pull the plug on about 10. So I got to get some sleep tonight. That wind about got, got me somebody. wore out. Oh, I, I, I hear you. All right. You guys have a good night, y'all. Yeah. Right. You going right, tomorrow you night, Joe? Thursday night? You and James? Uh, Gregory, yes, I did. I can't believe I'm drinking coffee at 9.30. You drink coffee all the time. You bad my buddy Jimmy. <laughs> I know I do. Before we go fishing, he got to get him a cup of coffee if he don't bring one. Yeah, boy. It's like a drunk got to have a beer. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's Easter on. Yeah. It used to be beer years ago, Possum. I'm over that stage. I've got no. beer in my refrigerator since I've had last year. What the heck? Well, golly. You're going to let it get old. <laughs> yeah, I don't hardly drink it anymore. One or two, and I'm about done, man. I fall asleep. Unless I'm having a really good time. Then I'll regret it. Yeah, look at a hangover in the morning, huh? Yeah, oh boy, I ain't had a hangover in a long time. 
<laughs> That's where a good old breakfast comes in handy. Oh, man. You used to have to hang the leg over the bed to keep from spinning. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's a little too far there now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It ain't no good when you can't can't stop the things from spinning. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. I know that's a shaky head ain't a moment. Golly. Man, I hope that wind ain't bad Everybody tomorrow. Everybody guilty of it once or twice and every now and again. We're going out after work tomorrow again. With, uh, tomorrow evening. Well, oh, I'll catch you guys if you go live. We're going out in the morning, probably about ten o'clock. It won't be till maybe three, two thirty, yeah. three ish before we do. We but got Captain hit Morgan's going with us all night, I think. Oh. All right. Well, that will be a good time, though. Hey, I'm after that 50-pounder. He's on mission, huh? Look out. I am. Mm -hmm. Other guys, they've already got their 70s, so they're after the 80-pounders. I said, I'll take a 50. Probably I'll go lighter than they hit the hook. <laughs> <laughs> one day it might be one of them, but... We can't watch you if you're on TikTok, Jody. He could, but I got rid of mine. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no TikTok, no Snapchat, no, no, no Instagram. <laughs> you get a whole new crew on TikTok. Probably a bunch of Mexicans. There might, there might not be no TikTok no more unless somebody here buys it. But. They ain't going to do away with that. It's too much money involved in that stuff. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what's on TikTok. Little, most of them are little kids. Doing stuff they should. We, act <laughs> we actually watch a little boy. We watch a little boy and his dad, and he's 13. They were actually at CatCon. We met him at CatCon. He's 13, and his PB is 55. Okay, what is 55? His PB? His PB. Oh, Action Jackson, maybe? No, oh. it's uh, fishing, not catching. Oh, yeah, I've heard him too. Huh. Coop, Cooper. Mm -hmm. So we watched them and then. Well, Jody, I hope to, uh, you for hump day. We're trying to con him into coming over oh, to Oh, ain't that something, Jody? I've seen that recently. It's even got worse. I heard that. Fine tune Jody on TikTok. Well, yeah, but they know everything, too. It's on your phone. Come on. <laughs> I ain't never been on it, so I think I've watched one movie on it. That's I just a little bit too social. I mean, that's like Snapchatting. Come on now. If you're going to text the same never person, done that surely you got your number. Why wouldn't you just text? You can send a picture if you want to. <laughs> I know why people have it. Uh, I mean, but I ain't going to tell that flaw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. I don't need no. I do good to keep up with Facebook and this YouTube. That's enough, ain't it? Man, I can't email. I can receive them, but I can't never get one seeing. I have, that's why I got Amanda to do that stuff. <laughs> it just don't work for me. Oh, yeah, it is, Jody. All you got to do is talk about something and then pull up Facebook, and it's on your Facebook. 
Well, well yeah, that. I think that more on the iPhone, because, but I you know I'm an Android person, but. Hey, I, stopped at, I stopped at a gas station one time over in Indiana and grabbed a loaf of bread, and I started getting emails from that gas station when sales were going on. Now, how in the world did they know that? Because they mm -hmm. tracked me. <laughs> Every time bread went on sale, they'd send me an email. That's why I ain't got no shot, neither. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Don't need on this boy. Right. Nope. Well, <laughs> I'm going to get off here, but y'all have a good one. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be out here in about 15 minutes. Thanks for coming on my live. You're welcome. Awesome. Good night, Randy. Good night. Or is that Larry? Larry. Night, it don't matter. Call me whatever you want. Just don't <laughs> call me late for supper. Yeah, I hear you, brother. All right. Good night. Good night, y'all. Good night, y'all. There's only one person I watch on TikTok called Poles in the Holes. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah. And then Joey said, yeah, I'll watch them. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't think they're being watched, just say something bad about the president, like what you want to do to him or something. They'll be knocking on your door. <laughs> Squirrel made it home from work. Awesome, Squirrel. All right. I, I watched them videos you did, Squirrel. You get a lot of nails out of them creeks. I know that. Heck, he got trapped the other day. I seen that little coney bear. Ain't that what they're called? I don't give me line. I don't trap. But like a little 110 coney bear. It looked like one for a muskrat or something or a beaver. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like a, I used to trap years ago. It was called like a 110 coney bear. It looked like it had been in there a long time. Oh, well, daggone. Well, I work too much. <laughs> <laughs> My fishing's after work. It's about to get serious when we go planting. Y'all probably won't see me for a little bit, but I'll be I'll be back. I'll be there when I can. Man, I've been trying to go live, but the wind's so bad. I even bought I bought two sets of earbuds. I went and bought a headphones. They was crap. I had to take them back. I just can't. I wish I could get like a microphone that clips on you and that. Bluetooth to my phone. That might work then. Well, Amazon might have something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy some good ones somewhere. I don't know. I got some good ones the other day. I was wearing them and they kept falling out of my ear. I was cleaning my fish tanks the uh, day before yesterday. Possum. I set my. I set my beer cooler up next to my fish tank and I put a five gallon bucket of water on it so I wouldn't have to bend over so far. Then yeah. I got to washing I got to washing my aquarium glass off and I was backing up, backing up, and I hit that bucket and dumped it in my cotton picking recliner. Ball over. Five <laughs> gallons of water. <laughs> Golly. Yeah. Took a fan. I had a fan on it for the rest of that day and all night, but everything dried up good. After I soaked my towel, I got soaked away. Oh, Boy, I was, I was in my, I was in my socks. Oh, got them wet. Hey, five gallon bucket of water is a lot of freaking water. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. Especially <laughs> if you dump it in your chair. <laughs> you decided to give her a wash, did you? She got a good wash. <laughs> Yeah, I seen that squirrel. That was a little small trap. Might be able to clean that baby up and use it. 
Well, that's one way of doing it, Rick, I guess. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't want to do that, but I did it. Oh, I know. Well, at least you I didn't like fall in it or break a leg. Or, I mean, yeah, I felt it. like you dummy. I can't believe you did that. I just set that cotton back and bucket up there and then turn around and do that. I do that to myself at work. Like, why did I do that? I know I, I shouldn't have done that. He's like, when you bust a knuckle or something, you know, I mean, like, dang, God, boy. Yep. Exactly. But it happens. I mean, everything happens to the best of us. <laughs> you got the uh, you got the fire going tonight? Oh no, no. I don't think, uh, I don't think there's gonna be no more fire tonight. It's hopefully gonna warm up in the forties at night and the sixties during the day. But boy, I can't wait for that weather. Monday and Tuesday oh. were cold. I tell you, I that. don't like the wind as much when it ain't so friggin' cold. Right. Well, just wait till it's summer. There won't be a lick of wind. You can't oh, even find right. no wind. Exactly. <laughs> I remember that last year. We couldn't get no wind for nothing. Well, we'll I be, heard it's going to be the hotter than that. And I, I like know. fish when it's windy. I think it helps the fish, you know. Keeps them moving more. Yeah. At least in a, you know, if you got a lake or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps the water moving. And throws all your bait to one side, depending, but yeah, yeah. Well, it puts all that bait fish up against the bank and them Chad go in there to eat that. What do you call that stuff them Chad eat? I don't know. I figured they eat uh, algae or plankton or something. Yeah, plankton. It blows all that plankton into the bank, you know, and then the shad and everything goes in to eat that plankton. And then big blues go in to eat that shad, I guess, and drums and everything else. Oh, Blue yeah. Gear. Well, see, catfish got the same thing in their fins as they got in their teeth. <laughs> if you ever get bit by them and your hand sore, you'd know that. But, yeah. I've had what, a catfish? Where, yes, sir. I don't I don't stick my hand in catfish mouth. I learned my lesson about two years ago. Oh, that's my buddy found that out either. today. He stuck his thumb in that twenty-five pounder when he went to throw it over the boat, and it clamped down on him. <laughs> oh, his thumb will swell up tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, it ripped half the skin right off of it. I love battle wounds, but yeah. Yeah, they got the same poison in their fins as in their mouth, too. That's how they stun fish that they can't eat just instant, you know what I mean? Really? <laughs> yeah, they'll hit it, and that, you know, that shad or whatever, it slowed down other than the other fish. Then it'll come back and eat it. So you think if I get my boat trailer out and I pump some grease in there and I don't see no water or nothing, I'm probably good, huh, Possum? Well, I'd pump until... You know, your little dilly sticks out on the end, or you see some yeah. grease. Yeah, there's plenty of grease yeah. in there. I'm pretty sure I did that at the beginning of the year. Well, every time you change your oil in your truck, you ought to, you ought to do your bearings on your boat trailer the same way. Man, I just had my oil changed. Uh, what's the day? Wednesday? Monday. I had it done Monday. We'll see, and then you'll have her on schedule then. I'm just saying. They said, your, they said your, your back brakes are wearing down. I said, how bad are they? They said, they're in the yellow. They want $750. Put brake pads and, and rotors on the back, just the back. I said, what about the front? And he said, no, your fronts are good. I thought the front wore out before the backs did. The most time it does, but. What are they trying to change everything on that side? It ain't that high. He said, I said, what do you got to replace? And he said, the brake pads and the rotors. Well, that ain't nothing. <laughs> $750 worth. That's at the Chevy yeah. dealer, though. Oh, that's where I take, well, that's where I take my truck. I don't really have nobody I can trust. I used to yeah. do it myself, but I'm too old and crippled up to that anymore. Thank you.
I got the extra money, I guess I'll just pay them to do it. I hate to, but I want to take care of my truck. Well, yeah, that's a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, um, boy. Pull that boat good. Man, I loaded my boat tonight, and I forgot to tilt my motor up. I thought, why is this cotton picker kind of catching trying to go up that trailer? And then I realized I had my boat tilted, that my motor tilted. Forgot that. Oh, I hate man. that. Yeah, I tore my prop up last year doing that. I'm getting to be as bad as Pontoon Jody. <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> I got a razor every now and then. Oh, yeah. Get her getting out of She'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, brother, oh, possibly get off of here, man, and hit the sack. I'm kind of wore out. Well, yeah. I want Give it two hours in here, anyway. Are you on so, one? Eat me a bowl of chili and do the same thing. You made a pillar. Homemade chili. Yeah. Oh I boy, dear. Now we have some leftover I had frozen, but yeah, I got some in the freezer. Boy, that sounds good too. You know what? I think I'll take a bowl out for tomorrow. I get done fishing. Like <laughs> Heck it's yeah. Heck yeah. That sounds good, too. Well, it says I still got 15 people in here. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, thank you, everybody. I hope y'all hit that thumbs up for me. Hit that like button. All right, possibly have a good night, Gregory. Have a good night, Gregory. You, too, and everybody in chat. Have a blessed one. Thank I'll you, Sam. On the next one. Oh, brother, thanks for coming up on panel, man. You're getting her down pat. You're getting her figured out, Sampy. Curtis I Cunningham. I that. <laughs> butterflies. Have a good night, butterflies. Squirrel. Where? Where? That's funny as heck, that's funny as heck. <laughs> I know. Gotta love that poor it. dog. That, that commercial's crazy, boy. I've seen that. About all over laughing at that. Jody, wake up. You got to work tomorrow. I'm going fishing. Jody's got to work. I'm going fishing. Uh-oh. All right, brother. Amanda, uh -oh. have a good night, Amanda. Thank you for... Uh, getting that stuff if you're getting mine done. Yep, yep. Awesome. Can't wait. Been hectic. I hear you. Late on the darn mail. It's been late, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm going to not mow tomorrow, but I'll tell you what, if we get that two inches of rain, I'll be mowing next week, probably. I hope it rains four days in a row so I don't have to cut my grass. That's my <laughs> I can't do that. It's raining out. Oh, my. I'm lazy anymore unless I'm going fishing. <laughs> All right, brother. Good night. Ah, right, good night, y'all. God bless the sidelines. Yes, sir. Awesome show, everybody. Thank you all for coming in. Uh oh, got a fresh comment. Let me check it out. All right, butterflies. I can't wait for Ed to get back on the river flathead fishing. Hopefully, I get to make a few of his shows. All right, I'm going to end this. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch y'all later. Hopefully, tomorrow I can put some pictures up here of some big old fish. <laughs>